during this pandemic, it's mm -hmm. been hard on all of us. Yes, and, definitely. And I had a moment. Okay. Mm -hmm. I had a dark moment. I was in a dark place. Right. Uh, for a couple of days, I couldn't get out of the bed. Mm -hmm. I didn't care. That's not me. Mm -hmm. Then I started having thoughts about ending it. Mm, it happened two nights in a row. And I purchased a gun not too long ago. Mm -hmm. And it's in the safe, you know. And I started like, well, if I could go in there right now and just end it all, because I want it to be over. Like, but it's in my head, you know. Right. Thought about my son. I said, he's grown. He'll get over it. You know what I mean? Right. I just didn't care. I felt myself withdrawing. People were calling me. I wasn't responding. Mm -hmm. I didn't care. Mm -hmm. Finally, I'm talking to one of my girlfriends, and I knew I was smart enough to say I have to say it because a part of me was ashamed. I was like, yes. I don't want them to think I'm crazy. I don't want them to, you know, obsess over me or think they got to come and sit on me because this one will. Mm -hmm. okay. And so I was like, I don't want to be handicapped and I, I feel weird. So one day I just blurted it out to my girlfriend. I just talked, she called me in the morning. I was like, you know, I thought about killing myself like that. <sighs> oh my God, I feel so much better. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to do it now. For me, I'm no professional, but I felt like if I don't say it, then it becomes a plan. And what scared me was that I did it two nights in a row. Okay. And the thoughts kept coming. Now I started thinking about how. At first it was like, I don't want to be here. And then I started thinking about going to get the gun. <laughs> Oh, my God.